Residents of Athi River are living in fear following pollution by several companies alleged to be discharging toxic effluents into the water system. The residents, led by the area leadership, say the water which was initially used for human consumption has now turned into a sewer, risking not only lives of their children but also animals. Our reporter Jeff Hyamba with more details. This is the main sewer line. The line belonging to the Export Processing Zones Authority, EPZ, housing the lines to the London Distillers Kenya Limited and the Edeman property. The line has, however, created controversy leading to a legal battle amongst the three companies. The bone of contention comes after the residents at the Earth River raised an alarm over pollution, which has persisted for some time. This was not water. This is not water. According to the residents, the alarming rate of the pollution has affected their health, livestock and farm produce. The situation is worsened by the extensive slums built along the river that also discharge raw sewage into the river as they lack basic amenities like toilets. <laughs> The cry of the residents comes after Mavoko Water and Sewerage Company Mawasko disconnected the sewer line of the London Distillers Kenya Limited from that of the episode in Earth River. The move sparked a dispute between the two companies. The LDK went to court to obtain the court orders to reconnect the line. However, this did not augur well uh, with the Edmund properties who say uh, there is a need to mind about the welfare of the residents who complain about the industrial pollution to the environment. Siwa in affected watoto wapa, iju akali wa akonashida. County yetu miaripika kwa zababu hii mtu kiangalia. Initially, EPZ Company had warned the industries connected to its main sewer line that they will be disconnected. They pollute the environment. According to them, anyone discharging into their sewer system must meet all the legal standards. Tungeomba ile amri ya koti ilitoa ya kuwezesha LDK wa endele kutoa hii effluent yao hapa. Tungeomba kama ineza simamishwa kwanza wafanya izile test walikuwa mesema watafanya. Kwa sababu hii hapa ni kama kifo imekuja hapa mtaani kwetu. Hata za zingine unapata makuku zina ingia huku kwa hizi maji. So we are again trying to appeal, to request the county government to give Mwasko money so that it can repair the subsewers. Last week, officials of Edeman, Mavoko Water Company, and the Kenya Water Resource Management Authority, Warma, carried out the test of the effluent of the LDK company to ascertain whether it's of international standard. The results are yet to be released. A reporter for Ebru TV, I'm Jeff Haimba. Now to an interesting story, Kili 